do I have what it takes to survive a full day of eating and training like Jake Gyllenhaal? Now, who is Jake Gyllenhaal? Some of you guys may know him from the latest movie, Roadhouse. Some of you guys may know him from the Spider-Man movie. But why am I deciding to train like Mr. Gyllenhaal himself? Well, Jake Gyllenhaal had especially... So in order for Jake Gyllenhaal to prepare for his latest role in the Roadhouse, he had to follow a very special workout plan. That means completing tasks like an eight mile run, 2000 sit-ups in a single day. Just in a single day, he does about three to four hours of cardio. So I think folks, this challenge is gonna kick us in the ass. So I think there's only one way to find out if I can survive Jake Gyllenhaal's routine. So let's get the show on the road. Yep. It's morning time, guys. We're actually off our, I can't even speak right now. We're on our way to school and we're gonna come back and we're gonna get started. Basically what we're about to do right now is go and do a thousand sit-ups and go on an eight mile run. I don't know how the fuck Jake Gyllenhaal is doing this, but bro, isn't he like 50 years old or something? I, I don't have the energy for this shit. I haven't even eaten yet. What the fuck? Trust me guys, I will do anything for you. And I have to risk my knees and go out on an eight mile run. This shit is actually gonna hurt. I never wear hats and I never wear AirPods, ever. And the last time I ran, it was only two miles. We're doing eight miles today. Not a big runner, because it shrinks your legs. Not all three, thankfully. I don't know how long I'm gonna last. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Now, little do I know, I have to run eight miles. Let me put this in perspective for you. Class, welcome to Mogwarts University. I am gonna be your professor. So let's think of the number 17.6. 17.6 football fields is equal to one mile. Now, if we need to run eight miles class, how much football fields would that equal to? Now, if we times 17.6 times eight, we will get basically 141. This right here, folks, is the number of football fields we will be running today. Now, your homework? You don't have homework. I'm the coolest teacher ever. I fucking hate running. We're only 10 reps in. My abs are already feeling it. We only have like 900 more to go. Then we're gonna go on an eight mile run. I'm gonna kill myself. This shit sucks. Shut up. Guys, we only have 200 done out of a thousand. I feel like my abs are actually gonna explode. Guys, we're not even three miles in. We're 2.6 miles in. Kill me now. Holy shit balls. Hey guys, the reason why I'm doing cheat reps, like swinging myself up, I cannot do an actual rep anymore. After 100, bro, like straight up, I can't do anymore. It hurts so bad. But we're still gonna do it. We're still gonna do 1,000. All right, boys. Fuck this. I'm pretty much walking right now. I've been running for almost an hour now. This shit's starting to burn. This really sucks. Fuck you, Jake. Gotta do the eight miles though. I'm gonna shit my pants. So instead of just doing 70 more sit-ups, I'm gonna do a 70 second plank. How's that sound to you guys? Cause bro, I can't even feel my abs anymore. They've gotten to the point where they don't even cramp. I just can't feel them. This is by far the absolute worst challenge. So we're almost 30 minutes in. I'm four miles in right now. I don't know if I can keep going, though, I'm gonna be honest. Shit's killing me. A minute and 10 seconds. 70 seconds, I think, yeah, something like that. I can't feel my abs. I only feel it in my back. Ah, this hurts. Ah, ah, 10 seconds. Ah. I ended like two seconds late. You can give me a break. Two years ago when I used to play football, I had really bad shin splints. They're acting up again on both legs and my knees don't hurt. I think it's the shoes this time. So the shoes saved me. Good news is we're done for now. Got five miles done. That plank was more of a back workout than an actual ab workout. I don't think that's a good thing. Let's just say I'm never doing that shit again. After long suffering pain and absolutely destroying my knee joints. <sighs> We are clocking out at five miles. I think it's 5.4. We walked like 0.4. I fucking hate you, Jake Gyllenhaal. I know I didn't do eight miles, just we can let it slide, all right? I don't know if I can run anymore. I don't even know if I can walk, bro. I'm so freaking tired. I just want to eat.
That's it. Now, according to an article I read, Jake Gyllenhaal apparently loves drinking protein shakes. Apparently, he also cannot have whey protein because he has like digestive issues, but luckily I don't. We're gonna be drinking this Fairlife chocolate milk for our first meal of the day. Then we're gonna make some breakfast after we take the shower. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so first off, I wanna thank Mr. Jake himself. If I couldn't have this breakfast, I don't know if I could have survived the whole day. Now, second, thank you so much for actually allowing me to have a protein shake. I thought I was gonna die. It is time to make some breakfast or what I like to call brunch. So we're gonna be starting off breakfast with four eggs and a cup and a half of potatoes. Jake is a fan of doing high carbs on his breakfast and he is also a big fan of eggs. Now this right here folks is gonna be what I like to call Jake's brunch. We're gonna throw some light mozzarella cheese in there. Keep in mind, it's light mozzarella cheese. Jake Gyllenhaal really likes to stay strict with the, the cheeses, the extra fatty things. So he likes to go either light or fat free. Keep that in mind. We're gonna sprinkle a little bit of this sriracha on there. We're gonna put this whole meal down in under five minutes. I say, let's eat this boys. So we just finished up brunch here, folks. We had four eggs, which came out to 344 calories and the potatoes came out to 210 and the mozzarella cheese was 39 calories. It came out to a total of 593 calories for the whole meal. We're feeling stuffed and we're gonna have one more meal before my workout. We're gonna try to work out maybe at four, five, something like that. Right now it's three o'clock. We're gonna wait for my food to digest. We're gonna have a pre-workout meal. We're definitely taking pre-workout because I am drained. All right, guys, so unfortunately, this is our pre-workout meal. We haven't had a lot of food today. We are, uh, yeah. So we're getting naked, folks. Look at that. This is 290 calories for the pina colada flavor. Absolutely love this thing. Then we have about two cups of jasmine rice. We poured some sriracha on top for a little bit of flavoring. I'm super low energy. I'm tired and I'm not ready for this workout. So I think we're probably gonna take pre or drink coffee or something. Gotta love it. Now, since Mr. Jake loves drinking water, we got a glass of water, our naked juice, 290 calories and white rice, which is I believe 290 calories. I could be wrong, but we're gonna hit a workout. I'm extremely tired. I don't feel good at all. I don't know how Jake Gyllenhaal does this crap. He's definitely gotta be on Natty. I'm gonna have to agree with Greg on that one. We're just gonna blast music and have a good workout and I don't even know if I'm gonna have a good workout. I'm not gonna talk anymore. I, I'm, I'm so freaking tired. Guys, I have such a bad headache right now. I'm honestly just trying to power through it as much as I can. I'm having a really good back day. I'm actually shockingly having a really good pump, even though I haven't had a lot of food and I ran a lot. Yeah, it's also probably because it's nice and warm in here too. It's late at night, but the heat really stayed in the garage, so I'm happy for that. I'm ready to be done, Loki. I'm ready to eat. Screw Jake Gyllenhaal. I'm gonna make a shake whether he likes it or not. It's gonna be a healthy shake consisting of fruits and all the things that he likes. But guess what, bitch? We're having whey protein. Your ass can't have that. All right, guys, well, we have our shake right here. I don't even really have the energy to attach the other microphone, the wireless one, because I'm absolutely dead right now. Um, I'm lucky enough I even had enough energy to hit a workout. Do I recommend doing this Jake Gyllenhaal day? Absolutely the hell not. But the shake right here is 852 calories. We have a cup of bananas, one scoop of transparent lab milk chocolate protein powder, and 2.5 tablespoons of no sugar added Skippy peanut butter one cup of milk and one pouch of my steel cut oats, which is equivalent to maybe half a cup or so. We're gonna down this and we got dinner tonight, boys. All right guys, so we just finished up dinner. Basically, we have our last meal right here. It's gonna be 0% Greek yogurt, you know, the phage or the phage Greek yogurt. I'm gonna pop it up on the screen here to show you guys which one it is. We put a little bit of my sugar-free maple syrup in there to sweeten it up. And we also put blueberries in there too. Then we just have a glass of water. But our dinner tonight, we're gonna pop it up on the screen here. Basically we had chicken, pesto pasta, and zucchini. The pasta was my absolute favorite. But the cool thing is he actually eats pasta when he's on his little diet or whatever you wanna call it. But with every single meal we've been drinking water, we had about probably close to six of these glasses today. And we also had two Helimix bottle fulls. Uh, we had a decent amount of water today, I can't lie. We could have had a little bit more, but I think the main reason why I feel like shit though is because I'm dehydrated. Yesterday I didn't drink a lot of water and that kinda you know goes over into the next day. So I'm kinda feeling 
really drained, but I also have a headache. And I think that's just probably from not having a lot of water yesterday. I'm really feeling like shit, but definitely rested. That's for sure. I do not recommend doing this challenge if you're wanting to do it. If you're wanting a challenge that was definitely a challenge for sure i didn't even actually complete it i didn't do all of the tasks i was supposed to do um i attempted this i attempted it but before i end off today's video i just want to bring up a topic that i was wanting to talk about whenever i get asked by somebody how should i improve or how can i improve myself i tell them three words and three words only and the words are consistency progression and decisions but if you make the right decisions that's one of the most important pieces to the puzzle so just remember consistency progression and decisions you know just certain decisions you make over time it's either gonna make you or break you right um and and making that decision in your life it can be life-changing you know when i started posting on social media it was sort of the unknown and i kind of had to make my own decision kind of test the waters and you know figure things out myself but i know i, I figured it out and the same thing could go for you maybe you're scared to try something you just got to make the decision take that step and just go for it and remember that consistency and progression is very important maybe if you're wanting to post on social media and you're posting content consistently and over time you're progressing and you're getting better and better why shouldn't you get followers like you see where i'm kind of going with this it's kind of like maybe let's say you're wanting to start a business right you start off with bottom grade fabric like you're, you're gonna start a clothing brand right bottom grade fabric and then maybe you get two customers two people buy your stuff and then you upgrade your quality better quality more people will enjoy it 10 customers and you keep going up that ladder more opportunity better decisions more decisions to be made you know just with that consistency with that progression you're always going to be on a constant incline but you know when you first start it's the unknown but if you never start it will forever be the unknown and that's kind of why i started doing this type of content or that's why i'm trying to you know do new things with myself on this channel i kind of just want to explore new things i don't really know how to explain it but instead of just doing vlogs like in the gym and stuff i want to create different content and just you know try at least try so it's not the unknown at least i will know it didn't work out instead of wondering in the future oh shit maybe if i tried it maybe it would have worked out i rather know than not know you feel me so um yeah anyways guys i just wanted to touch on that a little bit we're gonna finish up this meal here and we're gonna get to bed nice and hopefully early post an instagram reel the rest of the night we're basically just working we're editing but yeah today was a interesting day very very tiring if you guys say you want a part two i'm going to kill myself anything for you guys though it was a